Let's talk about the time complexity of the operations of an uptree. So here I have an example tree from an uptree, and we'll talk about the time complexities of the union and find operations. First, remember that the union operation is essentially given two nodes, you perform find on each of those two nodes, and then the resulting sentinel nodes, you perform a constant time pointer assignment. You just make the pointer, the parent pointer of one of them point to the other. So really, even the union operation is just driven by two find operations, so some constant times the time complexity of find, or in other words, the union operation has the same time complexity as the find operation. So for us to come up with the time complexity, it's sufficient for us to only consider the time complexity of a find operation. So let's imagine I have an uptree with n nodes, and it has height h. So this example has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nodes. So n equals seven in this example. And the height is one, two, three, four edges. So height is four. I chose to count edges, but you could choose to count nodes. It would be equivalent. It would just be one larger. So how can I think of the time complexity of a find operation? Well, remember in the worst case, you ask me to find the element that's the furthest away from the sentinel node. So given a tree with n elements, I could theoretically traverse a linked list essentially, right? If these two were also here, I would be traversing a linked list of n nodes. So it's big O of n in the worst case, just generally speaking in principle. So without any optimizations, so I'm going to say without optimizations, this would be big O of n. In the worst case, I would have a single sentinel node with a long chain of a bunch of descendants. And if I did find on the bottom one, I would have to traverse big O of n edges to reach my sentinel node. However, with path compression, as well as, so with path compression, and either um, union by size or union by height. So if we do path compression and we do either union by size or union by height, it turns out that the amortized worst case time complexity so this is amortized worst case time complexity for a find is actually constant. I'm not going to go into the derivation of that in this video, but generally speaking, the worst case for a single find operation, even with path compression, is still big O of, uh, well, actually it would be big O of log n in the worst case if we also did union by size or union by height. Really, if we did um, union by height, it would be technically big O of log n because we would get a balanced tree. But what would happen is after that first potentially slow traversal, all subsequent traversals will be extremely fast. So if we amortize the time complexity over many, many find operations, we'll have one initial super slow find operation followed by a bunch of super fast find operations. Actually, all of those subsequent find operations would be constant time. So in the worst case amortized, if we did path compression, whoops, path compression and one of these two, we would get amortized constant time, time complexity. Now, which should we pick? Union by size or union by height? Well, it turns out that even though union by height would result in more balanced trees in expectation, Union by size is easier for us to implement. When I'm doing the union operation, all I have to keep track of is any given sentinel node's uh, total number of descendants. And during the union, the one that becomes the parent, I just add the descendants of the other one 
to that one. So for example, if I had another sentinel node B, or I guess B is already used. If I had another sentinel node H and I did a union that ended up merging A and H, I would keep track of the number of descendants of A and the number of descendants of H. And in constant time, I would assign the parent pointer and I would just add H's number of descendants to A's number of descendants. So union by size is easy to implement, whereas union by height, well, if we're doing path compression, the heights of the different nodes in our tree, you know, it, it changes pretty frequently. So this might be a little harder to implement. So in practice, this is generally considered the better option just because it's easier to implement and still with path compression, we'll have amortized constant time find and therefore union operations.